here at the Technion, I've had what I feel is really a unique opportunity to have a bit of a pioneering role in, in some areas of research that I don't think I would have had the privilege of pursuing anywhere else. One of these areas is in stem cell research. We know that the Technion scientists, Professor Itzkovich and Professor Gepstein and others, have been at the forefront of developing, characterizing and utilizing stem cells. Our own interest has taken that understanding of stem cells into a slightly different arena related to cancer. And hopefully these will bring a deeper understanding and an ability to try to tailor therapy for an individual patient. Another area is an interest in population genetics. We made an observation that the Ethiopian population living in Israel seem to be especially protected from certain forms of common kidney disease. We did a lot of analysis of the genome and indeed were able to actually pinpoint a very specific gene, it has a certain name, it's called APOL1, and we, we find that a variant in that gene is able to either protect or increase the risk for very common forms of kidney disease which affect hundreds of thousands of people, can cause the need for dialysis or transplantation, and, and actually millions of people around the world uh, could potentially benefit from the uncovering of the mechanism whereby the variation in that gene can predispose to kidney disease. We can also use population genetics as an added tool to try to rediscover uh, clues to the histories of populations around the world, and we've studied that as well. For example, we studied the history of the communities of the Jewish diaspora around the world using DNA markers across the genome. We're able to show the Jewish communities that have been dispersed over many continents for hundreds and sometimes thousands of years all originate in a common ancestral population here in the Near East, actually the Levant, and which is actually close in terms of the genetic markers to other populations of the Near East in Lebanon, the Druze, Palestinian populations, and so forth. I grew up as the only child of Holocaust survivors in Canada. I had always maintained a close connection with colleagues in Israel, spent some sabbaticals in Israel, was actually in Israel with my family during the 1991 first Gulf War. We actually came a few days before the Scuds uh, hit. And looking around the landscape of Israel, the most natural and attractive opportunity in place was the Technion in Haifa because of a very special combination uh, that the Technion offers uniquely, I would say, not only in Israel, but, but worldwide. And that is the juxtaposition on the one hand of the ability for me to continue to uh, be involved in clinical medicine on the one hand, but with a basis in the exact engineering sciences on the other hand. This kind of ability for a physician scientist to work with engineers and computer scientists is especially important now in the era of genetics. To be a scientist today at the Technion allows me to have at my fingertips access first and foremost to a brilliant group of young, energetic, hungry minds students, the Technion students, who are the most important resource we have. Being where we are in the north of Israel, we have access to very special, interesting population groups. And couple that with the technologies which are being developed from the nanoscale to imaging. That's really uniquely available here at the Technion with its affiliated teaching hospitals. For somebody like myself who's interested in the scientific underpinnings of human health and disease, there is just no place like it.